How's it going everyone? Today we're taking a look at IO Launcher. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose and here we talk about digital minimalism. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Today we're taking a look at IO Launcher, actually very good launcher that you guys recommended. I take a look at it and honestly I like it especially for digital minimalists. If you're trying to cut back on your phone usage, a lot of the things is that whenever it's visual, whenever it's there, whenever you see the icon of the app, usually you'll be attracted to go into that app. So replacing it with a different launcher, something that keeps it minimal and that doesn't distract you can help you. Of course, this is not a long-term solution, but at least it's a solution that you can take a look into if you have an Android phone. I have a iPhone video coming up soon for those of you who have iPhones, but stay tuned for that. Essentially, IO Launcher has a lot of good tools. It has a calculator, a timer, everything, alarms, you can set it up very quickly and jump into the very tools that you have within your phone without being distracted about everything else. You also have news feeds, tasks, calendars, and everything syncs for within the phone so you don't have to sell your data or anything else. If you have a calendar here, it will sync from there. And it has a lot of extra customizations for power users. So if you want to use gestures to get to a specific app, or if you want to customize the way that it looks, it has a good deal of customization, which actually is very welcome to from the developer. There is also a paid version and this one allows you to have a Telegram widget for texting. I think that actually that is a very good benefit if you use Telegram a lot. But these applications, again, these launchers allow you to be, it's very minimal, it, you focus on what is on the screen instead of focusing on all of the different wallpapers that are distracting you on your phone. Again, very good, very minimal, and it has a lot of tools. You can set up a lot of new widgets, and if you pay for the, for the paid version, then you get access to custom widgets and more customization that you are able to get the most out of. I really like it because it's simple and actually it doesn't distract you. You can even make calls from the launcher itself so you don't have to go into the app. If you know the number, you just type it in there and you go into a call directly. So I think it has a lot of good features that will minimize your phone usage. But again, this is not a long-term solution. I want to kind of emphasize that, yes, launchers are a good way to play around with your visuals and maybe something that can help you in the midterm, maybe even a long-term solution for you. But usually for most people, a long-term solution we're looking for a transition device or looking for a complete feature phone that can replace your phone. And at that point, you will have to quit certain services. But if you're planning or intending just to stay with your current device and you want to minimize your usage, launchers are a great way for you to actually get more done, less time on your phone and just tools on the screen. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any other recommendations or anything else that you want to ask about this launcher, make sure to put it in the comments below. I'll be there engaging with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.